desktop apps, tap the Here's button to learn how. We get it. I feel like I'm a person who likes emotions. But when I get new packages, new packages, when I get new stuff, especially when it's K Beauty or clothes or anything, I'm a consumer, okay? I'm a millennial. I get so excited. And I've been waiting for this for like three weeks when usually when stuff comes from Korea it takes like two weeks, ten days even. Not three weeks or how long has it been? I got this from Rose Bro Shop because I checked all the prices and even though you do have to pay for shipping, um, this was still the cheapest size. I guess I got a lot of stuff. Nothing really too exciting to be honest. Except a few things because I just needed stuff. That's boring when you need stuff but you want to try new stuff but you need other stuff place this order on 18th of october now it's 2nd of november so it only took two weeks why do i feel like it took so much longer i'm sorry rosa <laughs> the thing is it took a really long time to like ship it out we love a camera who starts recording um so i'm sorry it only took around two weeks but it took like five six days i feel like to ship it out so if they had shipped it the next day or something it would have been so fast but anyways it's here finally i feel like it took so much longer than it actually did they put the value 20 dollars on the customs declaration so no customs here thank you korea <laughs> thank you for fooling the country every single time i order something from you <laughs> A lot, right? Oh my god, I feel like I spent like, what is it, like 17 bucks or something. And shipping wasn't that bad, I feel like, okay, shipping was 10 bucks, but like I said, compared to other sites, it still ended up being cheaper. But they also have eBay site, which has free shipping, basically the shipping is included in the price, but if you're getting only one thing or something, or one or two things, go there, not their independent site. Okay, yo! I actually read online that you have to, I don't know how true this is, I read online that you apparently have to ask for samples to get more or something, but I feel like I got quite a decent amount, right? So we have, what are these? Purito! Purito! That's such a cute name. Toner. I don't know, I really like toners. I feel like that's such a great thing to like. I don't like moisturizers, I feel like that's such a boring <laughs> part of skincare. Not like toners are interesting, but for some reason I feel like moisturizers is just like... That moisturizing moisturizers are so boring. Ampel, Ampel, C M P. I feel like I've heard of this brand. Not sure. C M P Invisible Peeling Booster. Oh, that's interesting. What is that? Exfoliating benefits. With no need. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. This looks like something that I'm too young to use. <laughs> so they, they gave everything of twos. So one, two, three, four, five, ten samples. And these are actually interesting. Oh my god, you know what I hate? Okay, I know everyone loves samples. Don't you hate getting the same stuff from one certain side all the time? I don't know how it is with Rose Rose Shop. This is my first time getting stuff from them, but I feel like, what is it, Beauty Net Korea or some, some, one of those like kind of very, very cheap sites? They always give the same sample, like old school, like Tony Moly stuff. Like, no one wants that. No, the things I got. Let's start with the boring stuff. I know what this is. This was really cheap on their site. Um, Industry No Sebum Mineral Powder. Very boring, very basic. I feel like everyone knows about this. I like it, I think, from what I remember. <laughs> it was just like very, very cheap. Like, I feel like this was like three bucks or something. I got nail polish. I know this is so weird, but I was looking in the store, like where they sell nail polish like a drugstore, and I didn't have a green nail polish. And I was like... But then I thought I could have gone to H&M, and probably they had it. But you know, I just realized that yesterday. And these are also quite cheap. Look at them, like look at how beautiful these two shades would go together. Like Hello Autumn. This is by Dosem Nail Wear, I think that's what it's called in English. And this is Deep Green. This is color 89 and this is color 85. For the longest time, I hated yellow. I feel like that's the color that a lot of people hate. I'm, I'm easing into it. I feel like I'm kind of developing a relationship. Me and yellow. What is this? Ooh, easy. Oh, ha! Ah, I know what I got. Okay. 
lavender blue. So this is a hair color. I think this is hair like uh, hair color treatment. So I think this is temporary hair color. I have brown hair and purple never works, but this is gonna be a video. I'm curious. Oh, okay. This is so Cleo. The super popular eyeliner, what is it, brush, something, something, something. They had a renewal, so they had a renewal of their cushion. Woo, here it is. I got three Clio products. That's... I really like it. I really like the brand, honestly. Fairy Fair Clio. Woo, this is a huge packaging, okay. Clio Kill Cover, the renewal version. I did see a review of it from some YouTuber and she said that the previous Conceal Cushion is completely different, so... This is not like a step up, it's just different. <laughs> I haven't tried the original one, so I don't know how it compares, but... This one, the Clio Super Pro Brush Liner. So again, this is a, an update from the older one, and from what I know, this has a lot of lot more product in it. So this is 1.3 milli, mil, milligram milliliters, milliliters. The original one, if I'm not wrong, it had like 55, 0.55. So this is a lot more product, but it's the same price. If you like the original one, oh, what the fuck? They prevent smudging, leaving lasting eye expression. Leaving a lasting eye expression. Come on, this is 2018. K-Beauty, you're very well known. Okay, I'm gonna take this off, I assume. Okay, okay, I have an eyeliner like this from, what is it, Sensei? Twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, okay, I see black. Okay. I just feel like the brush is. Oh, fuck. Ah! Twisted the wrong side. I feel like the brush on this one is really flimsy. Is there no product coming out? Oh, now it's so black. Oh, see? Okay, it looks like it's the same formula, I guess. It's not smudging or anything. But I did apply way too much. Like, can you see how black this thing is? Like, whoo! Whoo! Too much. Another thing I got from Clio, which I'm super excited about, is their uh, Clio Veil Tint. I think this is new. From what I saw, this is new. Well, I don't know how new it is anymore after two weeks, but it just looks like the color just looks so pretty. That's the one thing that Clio does really well. The color selection is so pretty and so nice. Oh, this, oh what is this? Oh my god, it smells so nice. Oh my god. What? What? This reminds me of this candy, like multi-vitamin candy, and I love it, it's so delicious, and this smells like it tastes. I just want to try it a little bit, a little bit! Oh, this is really my style. They have so pretty shades for this line, like, Cleo, can I have all of them? This doesn't taste horrible either. Oh, by the way, this is color 08 called Taro. Rose. Now, the cushion, huh? Let's see. Let's see. I hope the color matches me well. If not, I'm so... Well, I guess I'm selling it if it doesn't, but... Woohoo! This is Clio Kill Cover Conceal Cushion in the color Lingerie. Wow, this sponge is really interesting. <laughs> Can you see now? Like, on the bottom is different. Okay, Cleo, let's see how you cover up. Mmm, the color is quite dark, actually. Shit. I think the coverage is gonna be quite good. I mean, of course, it won't cover up like the eyeliner, but it seems medium. But oh my god, what color did I. Is this the lightest shade? Yeah, this is the lightest shade. Well, huh. I think this cushion definitely needs a review on its own. And I really want to see if this color is going to match me. Oh yeah, this is color 21. Well, I don't know. I've seen a bit lighter 21s. <laughs> 21. Is this the last thing? Oh, so boring. I know what this is. This is a face cleanser. And I already have this one, so it's nothing too interesting. This is um, the Face Shop Rice Water Bright Cleansing Oil. So on the reviews, I was like, I wanted to try something else, but in the end I still stuck to the same thing. In the reviews, some people were saying like, they stained my eyes and blah 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 blah. I don't really use oil cleansers on my eyes anyways. Like I use the oil makeup removers, but they're like, when I use them on my face, it's too much. 
like the ones that you buy that are like like the water type of oil cuts and oh, what are they called lip and eye makeup removers if i use those all over my face it's like way too much but this one i really like apparently a lot of people don't really like it or something my face feels so soft after this and i don't know i was just using it for a long time and i was like well let me just get something i know already it's really cheap like if you ever go to korea and ah I feel like this was always on this cup. Where did I spend like 70 bucks here? I could have gotten like 25 Etude House eyeshadows. I need a new eyeliner and I know this one. Okay, by the way, if you have never tried Cleo eyeliner and if a lot of eyeliners just run down your face, like everything does on my eyes, mascaras never work. Like Western mascaras never work for me. But this Cleo eyeliner, I mean, I assume it seems to be the same as that one. These ones last so well, but they come off really easily with an oil cleanser. I will just stop recording and try this one out. But uh, how much is in here? I never opened it, right? Okay, well, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.